In a video I did not too long ago, I talked about the best tools for survival in Alaska. Tools that could be easily carried, readily utilized, and give you a lot of options when it comes to fire starting, shelter building, procurement of water, and procurement of food. Now these are those three tools, and today we're going to be expanding upon this, talking about additional tools that you can use and should carry for survival in Alaska. Now I'm going to set these to the side because today we're not necessarily looking at cutting tools or tools that you would use for shelter, fire, or procurement of other life-saving needs, but rather things that focus on rescue and maybe even prevention of survival. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so these are the three other tools that I think are very important and very necessary in Alaska for survival. And you'll notice whether I'm training for survival or I'm out bushcrafting, you'll see a lot of commonality in these tools and in these tools here. So let's jump into them. So the first one, and in my opinion, the most important is dead center. And this is a personal locator beacon. Now I'm not gonna try to sell you on the Rescue Link ACR 400, which is this model here, but Needless to say, there are a good amount of tools, whether it's the Garmin in-reach system, whether it's the Spot in its many systems, or whether it's the Rescue Link ACR 400, 450, or the different uh, ACR PLB systems, whichever you prefer, I highly encourage having some form of a personal locator beacon. They all do the basic they all do the same basic function, and that is to send a distress signal out to search and rescue. But that is an extremely important thing, because the tools that I've mentioned before, the knife, the axe, sorry, the knife, the hatchet, the saw, are all contingent on your ability to utilize those tools. If you fall, if you break your leg, if you crack a rib bone, if you fracture a hip, if you break any kind of bone, or severely hurt yourself to the point where movement is no longer an option, then ultimately time is ticking. Regardless to whether you have these tools over here, you may meet your end if you don't have extra tools that can help you in a survival situation. And that's where things like the PLB come into play. This is, like I said, an ultimate down and out if you don't know where you are, if you don't think you can walk out of there, if you don't think that you're going to make it the next 24 to 48 hours, that's where the ACR PLB comes into play, or really any PLB, I should say, comes into play. Because all you have to do is hit that little, or just unwind this little antenna, lift it up, hit the red button, and you know that help is coming. Now it's not going to be instant, and that's why it's still important to know your survival fundamentals because you can still die of hypothermia, especially here in the winter, in less than three hours. So it's important to still know and have these tools in case you have to use them, but it's most important to have backup methods and things that you can utilize that let search and rescue know where you are. It's a pinpoint location and they can use it to find you, rescue you, get you out of there, get you medical attention, and all of that good stuff. So that is the ACR in particular. So that is the ACR in particular, but really any PLB is very important to have. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to be talking about is the GPS. Now this is a Garmin Organ 650T. It doesn't necessarily have to be this model. This is certainly far from the newest model, but this is the uh, GPS that I have and it works well for me. This one in particular is their T, so 650T. T standing for topographical. And I really like the topo because especially a lot of the places I go hiking, it kind of gives me a good heads up of how brutal the incline is going to be or maybe how not brutal it will be. But either way, a GPS, a solid GPS like a Garmin, um, is a really important feature to have, a really important tool to have. Because like I said, while this can't necessarily signal for your rescue or your distress, it can help you walk out of a place if you get turned around and you just don't know where you're going. And I have used this several times on trails that have confused me in the past and they help me walk right out of there because I know 
where I'm going, where I've been, and how to get back out. And so, like I said, this isn't necessarily something you use necessarily in a survival situation, but it can help prevent a survival situation from occurring. So that is the GPS. Lastly, and certainly not least, and I dare even call this a tool, but I do genuinely call it a tool for this video because this is a kit that has, that functions all with the same purpose. So many different small portions or many different small things make up this entire tool. And this, of course, is my personal survival kit. If you've been around the channel for any length of time, you know that I've done a lot of videos on my uh, personal survival kit and the contents of my personal survival kit, but I see the survival PSK as a tool, as a tool, and this is really the first line of defense when you have found that things are going wrong, when you realize that, oh no, I'm in a survival situation and I don't know when help's going to come get me. This, you know, carries things such as your shelter, or should carry things such as fire, shelter, you know, water purification. This helps work in tandem with your tools to secure your survival. So that if you have to, you know, deploy your ACR, utilize the equipment in your PSK and the tools you have to affect your survival until search and rescue can get to you. Because once again, even something like this ACR is really important and very nice but it still is contingent on search and rescue. And as we know, search and rescue is not just instantly there when you hit this button. You know, they don't just come walking out of the woods. They take up to a few hours to get to you, depending on how far away you are from them and how fast they get that signal. So it's nice to have a PSK because this helps back up your tools and work with you to secure your survival and your comfort until search and rescue can get there because as i've mentioned in the past you know there are some things in this psk that aren't necessarily survival related like i have some cliff bars some instant coffee but what a lot of people forget in the moment uh, now is that mental health plays a really important role in survival and keeping yourself sane can help you from making bad choices in that survival situation that would negatively impact you so that's why I like to have some comfort level items because mental health is just as important as physical health in survival. Okay guys, so as the downpour is now beginning and as I should probably wrap up this video, that is the essential core to the, the additional survival items that I recommend people have for survival in Alaska. This is such a grand and vast place that it's important to get your bearings and know how to signal for search and rescue. So anyways guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.